two-run walk-off double. And we're just trying to catch your breath here down the first baseline. Big Poppy is here. <laughs> David Ortiz, A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez. I'm Kevin Burkhart. That was a sensational game, but really the last three innings had so much going on with a tie, and then Mexico retook the lead, and then that. Kevin, it was unbelievable. And for Japanese players who are known to be a little bit stoic and not emotional, yeah. to see the emotion in the dugout, Otani going crazy with the wave, it was fantastic. By the way, Major League Baseball has hit the lottery with this tournament. Without a doubt. And let me tell you, watching this Japanese team playing tonight, I was, wonder, I was wondering, Kevin, why they were so good. This team lineup is in a stud after a stud after a stud. Like, you don't know where you're going to go and at what time because every hitter has some quality at bat to show at all times. I love that, Poppy. And, Kevin, it's the attention to detail what this great team, what this great culture is known for. Pinch hitting, double, base running. Then the pinch runner scores the run, and they're... Just fundamentals, right? But you think about Poppy, to your point, you think about the middle of this order for Japan. You've got an MVP in Shohei Otani. You've got Yoshida, who just signed a $90 million deal with the Red Sox. He's going to play in Fenway this year. And then you've got Murakami, the hero right there, who had 56 home runs and won the triple crown in Japan last year. That's the middle of the order for this. That's team. what I'm trying to tell you, Kevin. Like the guy was all for four, three punch out, and then all of a sudden, you can never give up on this on these batters because all of a sudden this is what happened. I he, this guy showed that he was so locked in in the last bat. I wasn't so proud of what he did. Uh, he ended up doing in the last bat. Kevin, for me, is the two elements of Japanese baseball: his heart and his fundamentals. And tonight they were both in display. I love what you said because look, we've been watching the greatness of Shohei Otani since he came to the states, right? It's such a joy to watch, but the emotion. He has never shown that kind of emotion. He showed it earlier in the game, and then the ninth inning leadoff double, he was going crazy. It was awesome. It, it was fantastic. And look at this, Poppy. Gets the ball inside out, and when he hits, look at that. It's the emotion. You haven't seen that in a couple years. You haven't seen that ever. And here's the most emotion, flying and then getting his troops ready to go. He's he been hanging out with too many Latinos lately. <laughs> He sure has. I, 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 you love the emotion. You love the, the grit. And really, like, this is, when you look at it, this is the final that I think a lot of people thought would happen. You've got Japan that won the first two World Baseball Classics, hasn't been back in a while. And now Team USA trying to win back-to-back -back championships. And, Poppy, how about it's Otani against Trout? Oh, wow. You like that for tomorrow night? <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to sleep here at the stadium tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here with you, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you know, when you, when you look at this, just the, the, the intestinal fortitude to come back and win, after the uh, Yoshida home run to tie it, and then when Mexico re immediately came back and took the lead, you're like, okay, that was impressive. They kind of put him at bay. But for Japan to say, okay, we're not done and hang in and come back again, because they left so many guys on base tonight, I thought that was impressive. Kevin, you had last week when they played Korea, Japan, there was almost 70 million Japanese folks watching. I had a buddy of mine in the subway in Japan, and he said everybody was on their phone watching. But look, this game had the feel, Poppy, that the last team that hit was going to win. That was the home team, Japanese. They just kept bouncing back, no strikeouts, hit the ball, base running, they did it all, and it was impressive to watch. Absolutely. Tomorrow is going to be the battle of the Titans. And it's because the two teams that play their best. I mean, during the whole series, these two teams never show any fear. I mean, U.S. play against Mexico the one game that Mexico ended up beating them. Yep. But after that, it was like, okay, let's show the whole world how good we are. And then when you go to the to the Japanese team, I mean, it's incredible. It's impressive what they end up doing tonight. Also, the style of baseball, Kevin, this early in the year, mid-March, you're not seeing balls thrown away. You're seeing great fundamentals. You're seeing pitching, offense, power, contact. It's an incredible brand of baseball. The pace has been better. On average, about three-hour games has just been fantastic. So yeah. we, we, we know about we know about Otani, but for your Red Sox with Yoshida, right? All the Red Sox fans wonder. What's he going to be like? What's he going to bring to the table? They're down three zip in the seventh. 
he hits a lunar lander that landed halfway up that pole down there. That was an impressive at bat. Well, I can I can give you a quick breakdown about the guy that I saw tonight. This guy can go from one pole to the other. He can use the whole field for power and also for batting average. That's the guy that I saw tonight. Watch this. Bam, change it down and in. That's not an easy piece to drive out. He hit him out. Yeah, he's got 13 RBIs now, which is the most ever in this tournament. So that's the kind of thing that he's done. Is uh, Lars Newpar going to come on in and join us? Take a seat and I try to calm down after all that emotion. Uh, wow, we're just we're, we're reliving it just like you lived it. I mean, what just happened, Lars? I don't even know. I really don't even know. I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't know if you guys figured it out. I was saying earlier, I didn't want us to get like a, a flag or a penalty for, for too many men on the field up there, right there at the end of the game when the relay was coming in. So crazy game, man. Crazy emotions. Oh, it's good to be on top, though. That's for sure. Walk me through what's happening in the dugout. You're down 3-0. Your team has all the heart, all right. the fundamentals. But still 3-0. What are you guys thinking before that home run? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, we got, you know, Yoshida's came up so big for us this whole tournament. And we were getting guys on all game long. We just weren't cashing it in. So I think as a group, we kind of had confidence that we were going to scratch them across. It was just a matter of when. We were taking good at-bats. Here it is right here. Unbelievable. But, you know, that, that's kind of the, the, the group mentality. You know, just never give up. We're playing for our country, the WBC. It's unbelievable. Poppy. This is, this is the first time you play with a group of guys like this. Yeah. I've been watching the whole game. I see the chemistry in the dugout. What made that that ball close so good? Yeah, I, I think I mean, a lot of credit goes to the guys that were there since February. You know, they, they've been they've been working out as a team since February, and and so you know they know what's at stake. And we got Japan across our chest, and, and they they wear that with pride. Everybody does in the dugout, and so um, you know we'd be foolish if, if we ever gave up during that game. And you know it just goes to show. These guys are unbelievable, and I'm just glad that they accepted me. Lars, thought it was so cool. Uh, you know, we've seen the greatness of Shohei. He's amazing. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think we've ever seen the emotion that he showed yeah. tonight, especially in the ninth inning. He rips that double, and he is flexing like Hulk Hogan out there. Right. I thought that was so cool. What was the, what did, you know, what did the dugout feel when he did that? Yeah, I, I was saying it earlier. Anytime you see Shohei show emotion like that, you know it's real. And so mm -hmm. that gets everybody fired up. When a quiet guy like that with a cool demeanor gets fired up, it, it, it lights a fire under everybody. And so... Um, he said he said earlier he made up his mind that he was gonna get on base and I was like man I wish I could just make up my mind and get on base in that situation too but you know that just goes to show the greatness of show well Kevin if Otani was uh, Hulk Hogan I think my man here was Ric Flair but it, it was exciting what are you guys talking I mean obviously you're talking in Japanese right. what are the boys talking as they're down is there a lot of like hey boys let's go is the spirits are high yeah 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 absolutely and, and they're saying psycho let, let's go you know and I'm saying let's go too and you know, the, the spirits are always up in that dugout. And Did you say Saigo? Saigo, Saigo, let's go. You know, so that, that's kind of the word that I picked up over the past two weeks. You know, <laughs> the one word that I picked up over the past two weeks. But that's just, you know, the team said it so often. And, they, and they're just, I, can't, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but there's just that fire and that mentality with this team that's special. Let, let me tell you, Murakami, the guy, he didn't show up early in the game today, or he showed up later in the game. And the guy, the past couple of years in Japan, he has shown some monster yeah, number. Yeah. What type of player he really is? He's yeah, he's a special player, you know. And, and like you said, he he broke Sadahara O's record of 50, 55 home runs last year. And so having a guy like that to play, he's got so much ability that you know, as, as a team, we got so much confidence in him. And so um, for him to come in like that big, you know, like you said, after not coming in, you know, the way he wanted to perform earlier in the game, that just shows that mentality that he has in the players. A young player like that too to be able to come through like that's huge. You know, Lars, Sasaki, I know the game was decided late, but that, this was really, I think, the first time that a lot of folks, especially here in this country, got to see him, right? Yeah. I would say he's probably the, the greatest pitcher that you've never seen, maybe the greatest pitcher that's not in the majors yet. But what did you see? What have you seen in his two stars? I mean, that watching that tonight yeah. was unbelievable. Yeah, he's, he's special, and, and he's kind of got that mentality, too. He's got that dog mentality about him, too, where... That's that's what I respect the most about him. He's got crazy ability, but you know what I mean? He he wants it bad and, and he, he can't wait to come and show, you know, show the states what he's got. Obviously today he was kind of showing it today. So um, first game I saw he hit 103. So, I, that, you know, that sold me right away. I was like, all right, that's all I need to see. Yeah. So tomorrow you go up against the U.S. Some yeah. of your teammates, Goldie. Arenado, yeah. a little awkward. How's that going to feel tomorrow? <laughs> uh, I'll see if I got a text from them. I won't text them first, but if they text me, I'll, I'll respond to them. But I said it earlier. We were talking a lot of smack to each other, and they held up their end of the bargain. So now it's time for the showdown. I'm excited. How do you say in Japanese, we kick butt? 
That's a good Ipe. I need Ipe to come over and help me out there. Yeah, you know, I'm still learning. I'm still learning, Poppy. Lars, appreciate you, man. Congrats. Enjoy this. Thank we'll see you, you tomorrow night. Tomorrow.